In this video, I'll be showing how to use the Live Link Face app to animate metahumans in Unreal Engine. I've been really impressed by how well this works for animations. In particular, the eyes, which are possibly the most important aspect for showing emotion in realistic character faces. So, first of all, open plugins and make sure you have the AR Kit plugins enabled and also the Live Link plugin. Open Command Prompt, type in ipconfig, and then make note of the IPv4 address. You'll need to install the app Live Link Face, and these are the compatible devices. Open the app and go to Live Link, add target, and input the IPv4 address. You might want to stream head rotation, so turn that on if you do. Open the Live Link Face app and press the Live button. Select your MetaHuman, select your phone from the drop down, and check the box. Press Play in simulation mode. And you might have to wait a second or two. And now we're connected. So every movement you do will be copied by the MetaHuman. Now to record, go to Cinematics, Take Recorder, drag the MetaHuman into the Take Recorder, press Record. And now it's recording. When you're finished, press stop. And that will be saved. And you can find that by going to cinematics, takes, and the date that you recorded. You can also search for the metahuman character, in this case Sukja, and that's the recording there. So if you open that, you can play the animation with the metahuman, but you can't edit it. Everything's grayed out. So instead, the best thing to do is to open a new level sequence. And then drag this recording into the level sequence. And now you can play it, but you can also add components like cameras. So let's add a camera here. Just get it in the right position. Adjust the focus. Now, what if you want to use that same animation with a different metahuman? Well, let's see what happens. So, let's pick Hudson. Drag him into the scene. Let's copy the position from Sukja. That looks a bit weird, so let's turn her off. So now we have Hudson. And if we drag him into the level sequence, now if we open the Sukja animation, it plays 
but there's no head movement. All you're getting is the facial expressions. So let's see what happens when we just use the face mesh. This is just the basic face mesh with no hair or eyebrows. And with this, you can use any metahuman animation and it'll work the same. So if you choose the Sukya animation, the position of the head will change because of the size difference. But the animation runs, but without the facial expressions. And that's because the face control rig needs to be deleted. So if you remove that, and it works fine. So next up, how to create a blueprint which will have the hair and clothes. Right click, new blueprint. Open the blueprint. And then you want to drag the face mesh into the blueprint. So this is just the basic face mesh without any hair. Now open the main character blueprint and copy everything from hair to feet or whichever components you want. Paste that into the new blueprint and drag to the face mesh to parent, compile, save. I drag this new blueprint into the scene. Copy the location and paste and then turn off the main character blueprint or delete it. Now drag this new blueprint into the level sequence. Delete the face rig. Now if you play a Hudson animation, it will play perfectly. But what happens if you want to play an animation from a different metahuman character? For instance, this Sukya animation. Now you might want your character to look like that, but probably not. And it's basically because the metahuman characters are different sizes. So you will have to make some adjustments to make animations fit different characters. Or alternatively, use a non-metahuman body such as a one from iClone, which I've covered in a previous video. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below.